Hello everyone and welcome back to Plans on Planning. Here we are in my social planner and as you can see we have a new month upon us. The fabulous, fabulous, fabulous month of August. Why is August a fabulous month? Because it's the month I was born in. So of course that makes it ridiculously fabulous. But of course, I could go on and on about myself all day, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to move that to the side, and we're going to put these here, and we're going to get started creating our monthly spread. Now, whenever we have a monthly spread, what do we also have? We have some fabulous washi to go along with that, and because it's the fabulous month of August, my month, I've decided to like all gold everything it, and here we go. So we're going to be using these various goals because, you know, I love bow washi and why not use bow washi when it's your month? Um, and then some other goals and we're going to make this pretty awesome. I have the gold, uh, little thin gold to frame out my weeks. It's going to be fabulous. But what we need to do is get rid of this month of just like that and I'm out of white out. What is going on in my life? Everything is running out. All right, let's get started. So we're using this washi to take care of our top banner. I'm gonna put that there. Then we're going to use these two washies to do um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So that's gonna look like that. So you have like this nice little lace and then some pretty bow. It's super girly, I love it. Um, we're using this to frame out our weeks. It's gonna go red across like we normally do. And then we're gonna add a bunch of wonderful stickers. So let's get going. Okay, so we're going to start with this washi, and just to make it, like, as you can see, it's not really that opaque, so that's why it was super important to get my washi down, um, and I'm making it super easy on myself, so I'm just going to go a little over and use the top of the page as my border. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. All right, let's cut this. Bam. And then we're going right on the next side. Ooh. I'm like, I lost my card. No, it's right in front of my face. Okay. Everything looks fabulous. I'm going to get my scissors and then just cut off the excess. Handy, handy scissors. Like, truthfully, this makes it so much easier than trying to, like, line up everything. It's like, why put yourself to that added pressure? No, my own. All right. So, this is what we have to start with. I think it's a fabulous start. Now, let's get into some awesome decorating. Now, this wonderful lace washi is one of those that has the white backing. So, which makes it... Op not opaque, um, a little see-through, kind of like this one. So it's going to be important that I get rid of this stuff because I don't want it shining through, messing up my design. So I'm just going to go ahead and wipe this stuff out as well. And... Honestly, I'm going to white out the lines. Like I said, I don't want anything getting in the way of my fabulous design. All right. So we're good to go on that. Now, the easiest thing to do is just to take off the backing ahead of time. As opposed to trying to do it little by little. And guys, I'm not using like a ton of it. So I'm not going to remove a ton of the backing. But what I am going to do... Darn it. 
is because I want my lace facing downward, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my page upside down and I'm starting from the corner. And I'm just going right across. There we go. Getting this out and cutting it. Bam, super simple. Now, to continue to make it easy on myself using this lace, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna bring the white paper back up to the very top. I'm just gonna tear it a little bit. So this way when I roll it back up, bam, it has something to stick onto and the next time I wanna use it, I'm not killing myself. <laughs> Alrighty, now let's add our lovely bows. Now the bows are, they don't necessarily take up the whole area, which is fine. And if I tried to double it, it would not work at all either, which is fine too. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put one row of bows going right across. What I'm actually thinking about, to be very honest, is maybe I can do a gold line. So like, here's my theory. I do bows here. This is a place mark. I do a gold line here and a gold line on the bottom. And like I said, it's a theory. So let's see. Gold line kind of gets in the way of my lace. But we're going to be putting a gold line on the bottom anyway because we're framing it out. So I'm going to bring the lace a little further up. And therefore, I'll start my gold line a little further up as well. As opposed to doing it on the line like I normally do, I'll do it above the line. All right. So I kind of like templated that. <laughs> so I'm going to bring my bows right under my lace. And bam going right across which it came out almost perfect because I get my bows in there we go oh yeah this is one of those uh, sticky situations so to speak so I'm gonna do just get my scissors out and use it like a straight edge. Yeah. Ha, works every time. I love it. All right. So now I'm going to use my gold washi. And I'm actually going to create two gold washi lines to be honest just because I have the space available there we go how do I keep on misplacing something that's right in front of my face explain this to me how does that even work and then I'm gonna go across the whole thing Mm-hmm. And normally I would put the gold line at the top. So I'm not gonna stray away from tradition. Or is it too much? Mm, might be a little too much. Let's take that out. <laughs> That's the fun thing about washing. It's never that permanent. All right, so let's just move on. I'll probably do it on this side though, but right here, it kind of looks like a bit too much. All right, so I'm just putting the washi right on the line. And because it's foiled, I'm just being a little extra careful with it. Because, as you can see, it kind of has a mind of its own. 
like this one keeps on moving on me so I'm just gonna cut it that might be my best spot Yeah, just to truly make it easier on myself. Because when it has too much pulling, it, like, changes the shape of the washi. So I don't want it to get, like, bent out of shape, so to speak. down at the bottom and I'm actually going to put it right on top of the black lot the side like I said, it's best just to do it little by little so you don't have to worry about anything going haywire the next side so on this side I'll do it like I traditionally do I normally do it makes that sound so old in my face traditionally Ooh. and I'll add it to the top right under uh, the dates and just cut There we go. Now we just cut. And you don't have to be like heavy handed or anything when you're using your scissors, it's like a straight edge. It's just a simple line. So it's not like I'm sawing away at the washi to get it to cut either. Just like that. Done. It's coming out beautifully. I'm just saying, I totally love this washi. Just add such glitz and glamour. <laughs> All right, and we're meeting this right at the top. And slowly but surely, we're going down the line. A little by little. Bam. 
everything works out perfectly. We got a little artwork at the top. And some bling bling throughout. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. So, first things in order, the celebration. We're marking off the big day. And to do that, I have my I Got Big Plans. And it has, like, little birthday stickers. So, I'm just going to put a birthday and a cake. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. And I think I'm going to do it with me. Happy birthday to me. Woohoo! There we go. And a balloon. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Alright. So let's get some other things going. I'm not gonna crowd this with stickers, um, but I do want a little bit of pizzazz. A little bit of ooh and ah. If I could, like, you would think it's a straight line, going next to a straight line. Why are you having so much problems? But me now yes i did cover over the whole do i care no because i have a hole puncher so i'm not going to let that stop me this one says be happy today i'm gonna put that here on a monday because that's celebration week starting um and then i just have some just like cute cutesy stickers just something that goes along with the colors that I'm using. Um, I had a wonderful little quote that, of course, you can never find when you need it. Because if you could, then life would be easy. And we all know life is so, all right, so to avoid situations like this, what I started doing was when I was planning out, you know, the stickers and things I'm going to use, I would mark them with uh, paper clips, the various paper clips. So my paper clips, my cute little paper clips, I would mark them. So it's like, oh, I want something on this page. I would just paper clip it um, either on, so like there was a sticker here, so I'd probably like, paper clip it on what I wanted. So bam, I would know I wanted that one. And then, you know, just go through it and be like, ooh, I want, well, this has a lot, so I remember I want something on this page. Or I try to get as close to the thing as possible, you know, like putting it on different sides to mark off different things, blah, blah, blah. I was doing that. I did do that. But for whatever reason, I was looking through it for something else and this quote, let me get this back. This quote caught my eye, and I was like, I need to mark that. Clearly, I did, and that's why I'm searching for it now. Or did I use it in something else? I can't remember now. Uh, but I know I wanted to get some of this on here. I did know I wanted to use, wanted to use this. And it's just a little bit of glitter. A little bit of pizzazz. Maybe I used it already. Maybe it is. 
Maybe I did. I feel so lost now. I'm like, well, maybe I did use that. That's good, so big. And I'm just, ah, oh, there we go. I marked it. How wonderful is that? I actually marked it. I know I have something. I'm going to put this here. And then I'm going to get some things to go around that. That's way too big for the area. So I marked off this too, but I'm realizing that is way too big for what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's find some bling or some decor to go around this. And... Here we go. I knew these were somewhere. Damn, something super cute. Yeah. Not for nothing, but the day after always requires the me time. Damn. Yes, I should be a little more planned, but what's the fun in that? All right. Yeah, I'm kind of done though. Anyway. I'm supposed to just seize the day and make today great. Even though I'm going to put it over two days. Does that matter? <laughs> yeah. Alright. So, here is like our foundation of the month of August. Um, enough space that we can still write, but enough decor that we can still be inspired, which I think is super important. Um, I feel like planners are not just to plan but they can be awesome reminders of how great you are and how great you can make things become. So that's why I love these little inspo stickers that says, um, be happy today, make today great, seize the day. Just some great little inspiration that you may need because some days are hard, some weeks are hard. So when that happens, a little me time is in order. And you can put a sticker for a great reminder that it's time to take care of you. So. 
enough before I get mushy and like start crying and weeping. Um, here we are. This is my August spread for my social planner. I thank you ever so much for joining me, for having fun with me. And I cannot, cannot, cannot wait to uh, talk to you again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop a comment below. Um, if you feel more comfortable emailing me, go right ahead and email me. My email address is below as well. Do not forget to follow me on social media. Um, and when you do, follow, I'll follow back and then hit me and say, hey, I saw your video and I wanted to know, blah, blah, blah. And we can definitely talk and be a part of each other's world that way as well. But I will see you later.